Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing the reverse candlestick. This is a great unusual twist on a classic aerial hoop move, but it can be a little bit tricky to figure out on your own. So I'm gonna show you how I get into it and make it look beautiful with a few pro tips. But first, of course, the advertisement for my channel. Please take a minute to subscribe and like my other videos. It makes a big, big difference with the YouTube algorithm, and I really, really appreciate it when I see you guys um, helping me out. There are lots and lots and lots of other aerial videos and tutorials over there, so please take a moment, check it out, and subscribe. Okay, moving on, let's do some pro tips. My first pro tip is we're going to start this move with a mermaid. If you need a review for your mermaid, I do have a tutorial for that. It is linked at the top of your screen right now and in the description. But while we're in the mermaid position, you wanna make sure to rotate your hips down towards the ground. Think about trying to point your belly button down at the floor. My second pro tip is to warm up your shoulders. You're gonna to have to reach far behind your back it is not that crazy flexible, but it's always a good idea to have really nice warmed up shoulders. And my third pro tip is to keep your head up in the final position. I've talked a lot on this channel about using your head to elongate the line of your body. And this is a perfect example of that. If your head is up, it's gonna look like your back is nice and arched. If your head is down, it's gonna pull the whole line and feeling of the move down. And we don't want that. So make sure your head is nice and up. Okay, those were your pro tips, so now let's break it down. Start sitting in the hoop, and you're going to place one hand on the side of the top of the hoop. I would say if this was a clock, at about two o'clock. Next up, you're going to lean backwards out of the hoop and away from the hand that's on the top of the hoop. Take out the top leg or the opposite leg from the hand that's holding the hoop. I have my right hand on the hoop and I'm taking out my left leg, coming in to a single leg mermaid. With my free arm, for me that's my left arm right now, you're going to reach behind your back and grab on to the bottom of the hoop with your thumb pointing towards your legs. This is the slightly scary part, but if you are trying this over a mat, like we should always be trying new tricks, then you don't need to worry. You're going to let go with that top hand and drop it down to grab the hoop next to your other hand. It's a little abrupt, but it's not a big uh, shock of dropping weight too much because you're already holding on with that first hand. From there, you can take your free leg that is already off the hoop. Again, for me, that's my left leg and cross it inside of the hoop and across your leg that's still on the hoop. If you're a dancer, you might think about making fifth position. And finally, bring up your head and arch your back as much as you can to come into a beautiful reverse candlestick pose. Finally, to come out of it, you're going to take off that top leg in the back. That's the leg that was free before for me, my left leg. You're going to bring it out of the hoop at the same time, sliding down on your other leg to hook it onto the bottom of the hoop. From there, you can let go with one hand, bring it around, and you're coming into a single knee hang hocks position. I here am using a Russian roll to get back into the hoop. I was just in the perfect placement for that, so I decided to go for my Russian roll. If you wanna try a Russian roll, I have a tutorial for that. That is also at the top of your screen right now and in the description. And there you go. That's a nice little choreographic phrase. Here's the whole thing again in real time. I love this position because we all know and love the candlestick, but this is a really fresh and interesting take on it, I think. One more time before I go, I'll remind you to please do subscribe. It only takes a moment and it really does help me out. And if you're watching any of my other videos, please take a minute to like them as well as liking this video because that does make a big difference. And with that, I will see you guys next time.